Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you have a problem where the AC air conditioner doesn't blow cold air, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. What we see here at the garage, based on our experience, the top 10 things that we see, guys, also will explain what else can cause the air conditioner not to work. Actually, it's working, but you think it's not because it will still blow hot air. It will not blow cold air, but the AC will be working. We'll talk about that where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure it's stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix transmissions engines bodywork interior electrical engine codes almost absolutely everything why we do that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and on this channel alone today guys we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL why let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located where fuel injector fuse is located uh, all you have to do watch the video one two minutes you replace that fuse you're back on the road so we make it for your convenience guys please subscribe to the channel like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way you do not waste money and time so let's start on it now so guys if the air conditioner does not blow cold air what can easily cause that we will demonstrate on this generation gmc yukon if you have a yukon xl it will work as well the only difference between the two vehicles is that the xl is longer but they're built on the same platform the first thing to check is the fuse for the air conditioner and the relay for the air conditioner compressor where they're located in a fuse box under the hood open the hood here on the driver's side you see that box open that cover once you do that underneath is the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys here if the ac doesn't blow cold air we need to check one fuse one relay for the ac compressor by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools refrigerant guys uh, compressors anything at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below that way you do not waste money and time check it out the fuse that we need to check is fuse number 17 right here and that's the relay for the ac compressor other things that can cause the ac not to work connect guys one recharging kit with a gauge to the low pressure port check the reading if you do not have pressure that means you have a leak in the system leak can be caused by multiple things such as leaking condenser hose compressor okay ac pressure switch evaporator multiple things if you have pressure but it still doesn't work what can often cause that we see quite often bad ac clutch if you want to see how to test or replace ac clutch we have multiple videos on our channels how to do that it could be bad ac compressor if you want to see how to rebuild ac compressor we have that video as well it could be bad ac pressure switch this is a little bitty device installed on the high pressure ac line that detects if you have enough pressure to activate the compressor if it doesn't work correctly it will not activate the compressor if you want to see how to test ac pressure switch we have these videos as well it's not very complicated other things could be even bad radiator fan 
If the radiator fan does not work, your air conditioner will not work because the engine computer will deactivate it, that way the car has a lower chance to overheat. Things that can cause the radiator fan not to work could be bad radiator fan, radiator fan relay or radiator fan fuse. We have these videos on our channel if you need to locate the radiator fan relay and fuse. Check your climate control fuses as well. We have that video for any of you needing it. Another thing, it could be guys where your AC works perfectly fine but still doesn't blow cold air because of a device like this one. Most likely you have two of those when you have a dual climate control. One on the driver, one on the passenger side. If you have a single climate control, you have one. This is known as a blend door actuator. Attaches with a flap behind the dash and switches from hot to cold. On the inside, you have plastic gears and a motor. Usually the gears will wear out crack, skip or the motor will burn and as a result the blend door okay, uh, flap will be stuck okay, to hot position and even though the air conditioner works perfectly fine it will blow, co uh, it will blow co uh, warm air instead of cold air. If you want to find the symptoms of a bad blend door actuator we have the videos on our channels. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.